Hey everyone, it's Kieran from Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I wanna to share with you another helpful tip for organizing in your classroom. I love borders on my bulletin boards. It's like one of my favorite things. It's like a, when a girl decorates with like jewelry, that's like my favorite thing to do. Um, except I don't wear jewelry. I like using borders in my classroom to just make things look nice and you know, make things festive. So I have a ton of borders. So what I wanna share with you today is how I organize the borders in my classroom. Okay, so here's the second cabinet in my classroom. Um, it doesn't look super perfectly clean right now, but believe me, it's way better than it was uh, at the beginning of the year. So what I did was I actually saw that I have these coat hooks in here and I don't have um, a homeroom, so I don't have kids with their book bags and their coats and such in here. Um, so I just decided to, um, well originally I was going to hang lesson plans from this. I was gonna get like those little rings and I was going to put lesson plans in baggies and hang them from this, um, but I ended up changing my mind. I might end up doing something like that for lesson plans at some point, but I decided for now, I'm gonna hang my borders in here. And um, I really love how this turned out. Now, a lot of these borders aren't my own. Um, somebody was getting rid of, one of my colleagues was getting rid of the borders in her room, and I was like, of course, I'll take them because they're so much fun. Um, so what I did was I just took a little clip, one of these like little binder clips, and I clipped the top of them um, together, and I have them hanging from each of the little coat hooks. And I, they're pretty deep back in there. I think it looks really nice, and I like the way that it has everything organized. It was really fun doing this. I don't know, like it was really therapeutic. And I like it because now they're all laying flat so that, you know, they won't get all messed up and they won't, you know, I'll, I'll be able to use them repeatedly. Um, I also have some, like, signs here. I have like a couple, I think this is like an alphabet chart that I haven't used yet, but I really like it. So I have like my apples for school and then I have, well it looks like this is like fall because I have some candy corn. And then this is just like people and like um, has like pictures of like students. So that's a whole section. Some plain simple ones, some winter ones. Um, and so yeah, I think it turned out really nicely. It was really inexpensive and easy way to keep them stored. Well that's it. Thank you so much for checking out my quick border organization video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to be filming a classroom tour video soon so please look forward to that. I want my room to look perfect before you guys see it, everything. Um, so I'm working to get everything cleaned and organized so that it looks absolutely perfect for you because it is still pretty clean and organized but I want it to look really nice. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.wordpress.com. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Bye!